five mistakes new users make when switching to Linux. Number 1, not using the terminal. Avoiding the terminal is a big no-no, even if it seems daunting to use the terminal, Linux relies heavily on the terminal, and not using it really limits what you can do with a Linux system. If you learn how to use the terminal, it can make doing certain things much more efficient, for instance, you can install software via the terminal in Linux, and it installs it much faster than had if you installed it through your distro's software center, which may not be able to find the app you want. Commands are also essential when troubleshooting Linux, or compiling your own source code for software. It can be daunting at first, but trust me, if you learn the basics of the command line in Linux, you will have a far easier time using it than had if you never touched the terminal in the first place. Number 2, Ignoring Security Concerns and Threats While Linux has far less active exploits than both Windows and Mac OS, this does not make it bulletproof. Linux has been hit by ransomware, trojans, and other forms of malware in years past. Yes, there was even a WannaCry for Linux, specifically designed to mimic the WannaCry ransomware for Windows, and if you look at the Linux malware wiki page, you will find that there have been multiple threats. And don't forget the Tyrex Z backdoor that was founded in many distros earlier this year. So while you're unlikely to find malware when downloading software for Linux, you should still practice good security measures. These include storing passwords in a safe, secure password manager such as KeyPassXC. Do not use online password managers if data breaches are of great concern. Regularly update your system and its software and regularly scan your Linux system with an antivirus if you plan on sharing files with Windows clients. Number 3, Choosing the Wrong Distro Now, there really is no such thing as a right or wrong distro. What matters here is that the distro you go with does the things you want it to do, so if you're a home user who doesn't need more than the basics, a distro like Ubuntu would be a great place to start, but if you're someone who needs more than that, Every distro is built for a different use case, for instance, Kali Linux is used by hackers and security researchers, because Kali Linux is specifically designed with hacking in mind. On the other hand, Cubes OS is designed to keep you safe from state surveillance and censorship. Edward Snowden recommends people use Cubes OS if they are worried about their government and police forces spying on them, because according to Snowden, Cubes is a reasonably secure operating system and Cubes is designed to compartmentalize your digital life, so you can separate your internet banking, dark web activities, and other online activities to prevent bad things from happening. This also proves that when you put all your eggs in one basket, it can have fatal consequences. Cubes OS is all about avoiding the all of your eggs in one basket problem, and of course, there are hundreds of distros out there, all of which are designed for different needs, wants and preferences, so when it comes to choosing a Linux distro, especially for a newcomer to Linux, please carefully consider your use cases and requirements. Number 4, Logging in as the root user. There's generally no need to be the root user in Linux unless what you're doing needs you to be logged in as root, otherwise, when you constantly run everything in root, you're risking unintentional damage to your system, as well as security vulnerabilities in the software you use. Think of the root user as being the administrator on Windows, when you are logged in as root, you are literally at the highest level in the operating system, meaning you have complete and total control over everything, and you can do whatever you want, but this also means that if you inadvertently delete some files, you could badly damage your system and potentially render it unusable, so please be very careful when you log in as root, and unless absolutely necessary, never log into root. It will only be likely to cause major headaches for you down the track. Finally, in at number 5, Customization Overkill. When you switch to Linux, you may feel tempted to customize the system, and by customizing, we are not talking about basic stuff like editing the taskbar or background. We are talking about customizing the kernel and other deep level modifications that very few Linux users can do. If you're new to Linux, stay away from kernel customizations, as you can risk breaking your system. Instead, focus on low-level customizations, like theme packs, icon packs, etc. These are much easier to install, and if something goes wrong, 
It's easier to fix this than if something goes wrong during kernel customization. These are just some of the most common mistakes, but there are probably others not mentioned in this video. So if you know of any other common mistakes, please don't be afraid to share them in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and see if you can find YouTube's new hype button. I want to make a video on that.